In this section you will learn how to tie a surgical knot. In the illustration you can see how a surgical knot is constructed. It consists of four throws with two loops on the first throw and a single loop on the following three throws. In other words, it consists of a square knot with an extra loop on the first throw. This extra loop makes the first throw easier to keep taut while making the second throw. It is common practice among manufacturers of suture materials to recommend three to five throws to construct a stable knot with their suture materials. So four throws is suitable with most suture materials. To tie a knot correctly, pull the thread flat against the tissue in the direction of the suture. Otherwise, the thread may lose tensile strength and break as shown in the illustration. Here is an illustrated demonstration of how a surgical knot is tied step by step. The needle holder should be positioned between the two ends of the thread for each throw of the knot. Here you can see how the needle holder is placed between the two ends of the thread at the beginning of the first throw. The long end of the thread is wound twice around the needle holder tip on the first throw, thereby creating two loops of thread around the needle holder. Now grip the short end of the thread with the needle holder's jaws and pull it through the loops. The knot is tightened by pulling with equal force on both ends of the thread. Notice that the arms cross upon completion of the first throw. On the next throw, return the position of the needle holder between the two ends of the thread. The long end is wound only once around the tip of the needle holder and the short end is pulled through the loop. This time, pull the short end in the opposite direction of the first throw to tighten the knot. Your arm should open as you tighten the knot. The surgical knot becomes stable and durable when a square knot is added to the top of it. This will provide a total of four throws with two loops on the first throw as shown in this illustration. This is called the 2-1-1-1. It is also a good idea to pull the stitch to the side of the wound edge so the knot does not sit directly on top of the wound, slowing the healing process. Studies have shown that both the 1111 technique and the technique shown in this demonstration, the 2111, provide stable and durable knots. One knot is not stronger than the other, but the surgical knot is slightly thicker as it consists of two loops on the first throw.